Imagine the Arctic looking like a Carolina swamp. Imagine the Badlands covered with tropical trees. Scientists think this could be Earth's future because they have seen it in Earth's past. 56 million years ago, Earth entered the Paleocene-Eocene Thermal Maximum, or PETM. In less than 6,000 years, global temperature spiked up about 10 degrees Fahrenheit. The consequences were extreme. Off the coast of Antarctica, scientists on board a specially equipped research ship first discovered evidence of the PETM. They pulled up sediment cores from the ocean bottom. Each layer of the core corresponds to a moment in geological time. Dr. Ellen Thomas examined the layers carefully, sorting through thousands upon thousands of tiny fossils of microscopic organisms. The interesting thing was that a number of uh, species that had been common and very, very long lived, around for tens of millions of years, became extinct at that moment in time. Dr. Thomas linked the extinction to an increase in carbon in the atmosphere, which triggered a massive change in ocean chemistry. We have this deadly trio of getting warmer, getting more acid, uh, and having less oxygen. On land, life was also affected during the PETM. In the badlands of Wyoming, Dr. Scott Wing found fossils that revealed dramatic movements in vegetation. Plants really did change during the Paleocene, Eocene thermal maximum, and they changed a lot. Before the event in Wyoming, forests would have been like wet coastal plain forests in South Carolina. And during the event, they would have been like modern dry tropical forests in Mexico. The plant fossils exposed more impacts, including increased insect bites. One of the things we see during the PTM is that insects were voracious. Plants that grow in more carbon dioxide have less protein. So the bugs had to eat more in order to support their own bodies. Not just insects, but larger animals were also affected by the decreased food supply. Scientists observed major changes in early mammals, like Ictosian. What's really interesting about Ictosian is that uh, it's in North America before the PETM, before the big climate change. This is a lower jaw of Ictosian. It's about the size of a medium to large size domestic dog, but it's a hooved animal. Through time, they start out large, then they get small during the global warming event, and then after the event, they become larger again. So you can think of this as these mammals are, with their body size, dancing to the tune of climate change. But what could have caused Earth's fever? The leading hypothesis blames the release of methane buried in the seafloor. Methane is a potent greenhouse gas that turns into carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. The more greenhouse gases, the hotter the planet. Today, as humans, burning fossil fuels and putting more carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, this is a process similar to that happened by natural causes during the Paleocene-Eocene thermal maximum. At the PETM, it took thousands of years for the climate to warm. Today, we're changing the atmosphere and the climate 10 times faster. The question really isn't, do we understand what's going to happen? It's, what are we going to do about it? 